Well, boy, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from the martial arts. I was, I'm the youngest of three sons, and both my brothers are bigger than I am. I grew up regularly having my ass whipped. And so the only sports I ever wanted to do were learning to defend myself, wrestling, judo, boxing, jujitsu, karate. Boy, you learn a lot of things. First, and besides all the discipline and techniques and such, you learn that size doesn't matter. It's often, there's, there's pressure points, there's vulnerabilities that somebody has that, uh, that you have to identify and you have to identify where your own are and really devote your, your resources, so to speak, to protecting yourself there. I also, I'll tell you a great boxing story. Did you ever, ever hear the Poppy Rowland story? When I was trying to make it as a boxer, my, I was gonna be the great white dope. The, uh, I lived out in New Jersey and, and trained hard. And, and I, I boxed as a teenager, but later in my late 20s, I decided I was gonna be the, the world heavyweight champ. And I gave it a good, a good shot. Uh, got beat up a lot, but the whole time I was trying, I was hearing about this guy, this manager, who used to tell me about Poppy Rollins. And Poppy Rollins, he's a holy terror, Patrick. He's a, oh gosh, you can never see this guy. He's this guy from Puerto Rico. He's a holy terror. And I, he had this incredible knockout record and such. I kept hearing about Poppy Rollins. Well, when I, when I got beat up the last time and decided that I had enough, I wasn't, there's was easier ways to make a living. I went, uh, I was throwing, hanging up my gloves. And my coach, this guy, called me Mr. Anton the last day, and he said, hey, Poppy Rollins is fighting in Philadelphia tonight. Let's go see him. I said, okay. So we drove down, and we get there, and the, uh, I'll never forget, the, the two fighters go in the ring, and they take off their robes. And one's a tough-looking, was a miniature Mr. T, arms like cannonballs, just tough, tough guy. And this other guy was sort of this skinny, light-skinned fellow, bit of a, bit of a gut, just clearly not in shape or anything. And this other guy, I, it just looked like he was going to kill him. And I said, my God, he looks, he, you're right, he does look like a killer. And Mr. Anton said, that's not Poppy Rollins, that's Poppy Rollins. I said, come on, that's this guy, that's this holy, oh my God, Patrick, he's a holy terror, wait till he's a holy terror. I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. Well, the fight lasted about two minutes, and Poppy Rollins just destroyed this other guy. And... <laughs> So that, that was interesting, but what was more interesting is they left, and it turns out that the, the father was in the audience, he was actually in the ring, and as they left, uh, you know, the kid won and won by a knockout in the first round, and as they were leaving the ring, somebody, a group of guys were standing there, big guys, and Poppy Rollins' dad was a little guy, as I remember, a little Puerto Rican fellow, and as somebody said something, like, your son's a bum, and this guy, without even hesitating, without confronting, just grabbed a chair and smashed it <laughs> at the guy. I just turned into this rumble. And I got a, I got a, I got a good idea of what made, had made Poppy Rollins <laughs> as tough as he was. So uh, anyway, I stick that. There are times when my pop has been a little hard on me, too. And I think, well, I think of Poppy Rollins as dad. And, you know, you got to, it's, I know what made, Poppy Rollins was tough, but I also know what made him that tough. Thank you.